Welcome to Mix CG Arts. In this video, we're diving deep into Blender's Wall Factory Generator to create some amazing structures and unleash its full potential. Let's dive into the world of creativity and explore its endless possibilities. First, let's start by adding the Wall Factory Generator. Open Preferences in Edit Menu. Search for the Add Mesh Extra Objects in the Add-ons. Check to enable it. Now, press Shift plus A to open the Add Objects menu. Here, you'll find all extra objects in the Mesh submenu. Let's locate the Wall Factory within the Extras menu. First, let's start by adding the Wall Factory Generator. Open the pop-up menu. Use the radial and curved buttons to create the dome shape. Let's click the repeat button in the openings menu to increase the number of windows. Deselect the top arch and select the bottom arch. Adjust the opening values accordingly. Press numpad 7 to go to the top orthographic view. Now, adjust the indent value and continuously check the alignment of the arches along the X and Y axes. Consider adding the bevel modifier, it's optional here. Right-click and select Shade Auto Smooth. In the shading menu, check the harden normals. Let's apply modifier. Press tab to go into edit mode. A to select all. Press alt S to scale along normals. Let's add a mirror modifier. Let's activate both the X and Y options for axis, bisect, and flip. Now, the dome shape has pillars and arches that are the same all around. Let's duplicate it to create a spherical dome. This time, activate the Z option for axis and bisect. Similar to the Add Mesh Extra Objects add-on, we need to enable that Add Curve Extra Objects. Open Preferences in Edit Menu. In the Add-ons tab, search for Add Curve Extra Objects in the search bar. Check to enable it. First, let's start by adding the Wall Factory Generator. Open the pop-up menu. Let's increase the end value. Let's click the Repeat button in the Openings menu to increase the number of windows. Adjust the opening values accordingly. Let's activate the Krenel option. Adjust Values. Press Shift A and navigate to the Curve menu to add a curly curve. You have the flexibility to choose any curve shape you prefer. S to scale. Let's add a curve modifier. Utilize the eyedropper tool to select the curve. Select the Move tool. S to scale. Make adjustments as needed. You can create various shapes as needed using similar method. Let's add the wall factory generator to the scene. Let's click the repeat button in the openings menu to increase the number of windows. Raise the height by adjusting the top value to increase it. Let's increase the end value. Adjust the opening values accordingly. I'm adding three windows, but you can modify the quantity as per your preferences. Add a simple deform modifier. Choose the bend option. 
Select the Z-axis. Change the angle to 360 degrees. Adjust the angle value to eliminate the space between the walls. Let's add a bevel modifier. Right-click and select Shade Auto Smooth. In the Shading menu, check the Harden Normals. Modify the angle value to control the gap between the walls. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Select the Cage Mode in the Modifier options. Press Alt-S to scale along Normals. Add an Array Modifier. Set the X Factor to 0 and the Z Factor to 1. Press Shift to add a new wall factory once more. Uncheck the opening option. Use the radial and curved buttons to create the dome shape. Right-click and select Reset to default value. Let's adjust the bottom value. Let's modify the values accordingly. Let's activate the Krenel option. Adjust values. Let's add a mirror modifier. Let's activate both the X and Y options for axis, bisect, and flip. Let's apply modifier. Press RX 90 to rotate along X axis in 90 degrees, S to scale. Press SZ to scale along Z axis. Let's apply modifier. Right-click and select Geometry to Origin from Set Origin menu. Press Numpad 1 to go to the front orthographic view. Press G and then Z to move along the Z-axis. S to scale. Press Ctrl A and apply Rotation and Scale. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Press Alt S to scale along Normals. To copy modifier, first select the object you want to add the modifier, then select the object which has modifier and from the modifier menu choose the copy to selected. 